I'm gonna knock my mirror over. So my hi camera. there. Okay. I just wanted to come on here and talk about my first day doing the mindful based cognitive therapy workbook. So the first exercise you do is mindfully eating a raisin, but I hate raisins, so I ate a grape, and it was it was interesting. Like it was like you had, they had you just like staring at it and holding it and observing it and like taking it in, you know, and like. You couldn't eat it yet, and then he's like, you can put it in your mouth, but don't take a bite yet. Just like feel it on your tongue and in your mouth and the textures and your thoughts and pay attention to how your body wants to eat it and how your reflexes are, you know, it's hard for you to fight that urge. And it was really interesting. I, I've never, you know, who does that? You know, I've never really done that before. I think maybe once when I was like, <laughs> maybe once in my youth when I was playing with, uh, when I was experimenting with some, um, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Basically, in my youth, when I was... Wow, I'm still even thinking of the word. Normally, I could think of the word at some point. You know, when I was... was good and the experience was like mind altering it was really worth it and I filmed it but then when I was looking over the footage I thought you know what this is this is too personal I want to share the experience with people but not while I'm going through it because it's highly emotional like, I got really emotional during it because like this depression and anxiety is something that has weighed on me heavily for years and so to like feel like I'm on a journey to finally get rid of it it's emotional and to feel like it's successful like I feel like I'm feeling something with it it's just not something that I I want to kind of share that vulnerable it's, I'm already vulnerable enough right now doing this series so um but yeah they do that and then you do like it's like 40 minutes of like uh, body meditation or I forgot the body scan meditation is what it's called and you just lay there and he talks to you and he tells you like pay attention to your toe and how it feels and he goes through your whole body and it's like a long process and I'm not gonna lie okay I'm gonna tell you the truth I fell asleep I ended up falling asleep doing it I got so relaxed I fell asleep and that's you know I think that is pretty normal he says throughout it like if you get distracted at all if you can't focus and you find your mind wandering forgive yourself be kind to yourself this is normal this is what your brain normally does just acknowledge what just happened and bring your focus back well I fell asleep and when I woke up I forgave myself and I said next time I will try not to fall asleep but who knows? I mean, I got really into it. I got so relaxed. Like, it was really relaxing. Like, even when I woke up, I was still so just like, whoa. Um, and I have to do it for the next five days, or next six days. But I have to confess something, because I want to be 100% transparent. I skipped it yesterday. I didn't intend to, but my friend's getting married next Saturday, and I hadn't found a dress yet for the wedding. And so I had to go shopping and I had to get a couple other things and it just ended up taking so long and there were crazy storms here We don't see a lot of crazy storms in Sacramento. They're very very rare, but that was a crazy storm I hydroplaned a couple times on the way home and I was going slow. I got almost got stuck in a puddle a tree branch flew right in front of me like it was an adventure. When I got home, I was tired. I was so tired and I just like passed out. But today I'm going to continue. I'm not going to let it, I'm not going to make myself feel too bad. I'm just going to continue on the process and try and make sure I don't get myself in a situation like that again to where I, I can't do it. So um, yeah, I ate a grape. It was an experience. I definitely recommend anyone to follow through with me. The mindfully eating a grape and it tells you for the next week it wants me they want me to mindfully eat food and do the body scan every day and share my thoughts and how I feel and I will say that it I already feel a little bit better like I feel like when I start to have a sad thought or something I'm already starting to feel like I can I know what's happening I know what my brain is doing and that takes a lot of the weight off like it's not nothing personal It's nothing personal. I'm learning that it's nothing personal when these thoughts come and I'm learning how not to give them so much weight. I'm not cured at all. I'm in the beginning of my eight week process. So 
obviously like I'm not gonna sit here and be like I'm all cured it's all better it's amazing I need to finish the process and I need to stick with it afterwards but so far I'm really really liking it I think what I'm going to do though since I don't really want to share like the experience when I'm doing it and all that stuff and it's just it's hard to share that I mean how do you do that it's it's trust me it's hard and I'm doing this by myself I don't have like a cameraman or anything so um I think what I'm gonna do is weekly and I'm just gonna like vlog certain events that I'm doing or whatever like I'm going to vlog basically this process as it's coming and like how I'm doing and all that kind of stuff and again if you want to follow through if you want to do this with me please feel free to let me know in the comments by the book we'll follow each other Matt stop pointing the cat um, we can do this together, be each other's accountability buddy. I would love that. So, um, if you just want to see how my experience goes, so feel free to subscribe. I will be doing seven more videos for the eight week process or however many it ends up being. I don't know. One a week. Um, sharing my journey with you and everything. And hopefully at the end of it, I will have something revolutionary to share. And it, it will be amazing. So, yeah. So that is my update on my first night doing this mindfulness based cognitive therapy. Now I need to go be a parent. So I will see you later. Bye.